are standing here outside of the meditation sphere that I just did, looking across at this beautiful mountain range uh, of the Galisteo Basin. The Galisteo Basin was shown by uh, the Challenger to be the place on the planet that has the least amount of atmospheric pressure. pressure. That means it's a window to the sky. Mm. And our work uh, stems from ancient esoteric uh, windows to the sky of the Chinese in acupuncture over 5,000 years ago. And uh, so we love this window to the sky. It was an ancient inland sea. And so 500 feet down, it rocks you know, with that sea energy. So again, it has the earth and the sky. And it facilitates the blowing off the wind of the things that stick in our auric field. It allows our expansion. And we created this building to represent the future, the galactic energy. The Galiseo Basin is known for having uh, many uh, sightings of uh, spaceships and vibrations, uh, not only from the sky, but uh, uh, it's a, a time vortex and uh, an energy vortex. It has a crystalline bed, and so the vibration here is very conducive to connecting to our two selves. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you have a little doggy here. No. She heard you. I'm excited to master the bilocation. She oh, appears yeah. and disappears. I reach back. She is. Oh, oh no, no, no jumping. No jumping. No jumping. Jump. We're still we learning. Oh. We're, still, we're still learning. We're less than three months old. We're just a baby. Oh, they're from uh, South Africa, right? Yeah. Yes, they are. Yeah. They are. And did you meet Allison? Allison Hi, is my special met. assistant. I'm Allison. Very nice. Hello. Nice to meet you as well. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Hi. She's been waiting and waiting. I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, oh, let go, let go. Wait. So you can uh, Got take her. her that way <laughs> for a moment. So nice to meet you both. Nice, nice to, meet to meet you. So this land with this hogback, um, again, creates a certain kind of energy, the Galisteo Basin, uh, that opens us up to many, many different kinds of energies. And we've always called it the Giga Land. Uh, it w this Galisteo Basin has six ancient Pueblo ruins. So from the beginning of time, the Native Americans have come here, and they said it was sacred that they came here to speak to their sky brothers, which of course we call galactics. Uh, and uh, so they considered it sacred land, and when you walk across this land, sometimes you find shards or or energies that belong to these people from so long ago who understood that we are not alone in the cosmos, mm. that we are here um, uh, drawing in this, from this vortex the energies of the sky, anchoring the sky, and extending out to the sky. Uh, that which we humans have to offer the universe, which is the human heart. This place must be beaming out to the universe. <laughs> it not is. all see you. <laughs> oh, it's very is. visible. It's very, very powerful. Uh, the energy that moves off from here, and people come and just by walking around, they feel uh, different. They feel uh, somehow as if some new part of themselves has awakened, and I love that because it all comes from inside us, you know, not from outside us. <laughs> This is my office. And, uh, do you want to go in? Yeah. Right, we'll go in for a second. It's a very simple space. We have no pictures so that we don't lock you into some point of reference that you've understood from this lifetime or another lifetime. Because here at the Lions Duke we do, uh, we work with the incarnations of the soul. And uh, we also do consultations which are about uh, seeing who we are from an expanded uh, perception of our lives. So very simple.
And I'll let you travel on with yes. the rest of the people here. Thank you so much. Oh, dear heart. The door. <laughs> you want to carry it down with you? Do you want to wait for a moment and she'll be right here? Yeah. Bye. Okay. You've been working with Chris for some time now. 14 years. How has that been? How has it been? It's, it's so real. It makes you real. It keeps you alive. It keeps you awake. And, and every day is something different. Every day is something new. And it's, it's Chris. It's the Light Institute work. It's the spirituality. It's, it's, it's being part of what's happening on the planet. And I am, I'm the luckiest person on the face of the planet because mm. of that. I, I, I am so grateful for it. I can see that. Your <laughs> eyes are full with light and, and joy and you're what I call juicy. <laughs> juicy. What is it for you, juicy life? life? Juicy life is, is waking up every day with a sense of purpose and knowing that you're contributing to the planet, to humanity, and, and to yes. your own life. Yes. To your own life. Oh, how did you land it in Santa Fe? Uh, long story short, I came out for an intensive at the Light Institute in the last day of the intensive, which was month, a month long. Uh, my job opened up and I l never left. <laughs> and I had been looking for four and a half years. I had been looking for four and a half years. Um, I hadn't worked for four and a half years wow. because I was looking in the last day of that intensive, this job opened. I've been here for 14, 14 years. Something about this place, huh? Something about San well, Fe Galisteo? Well, it was, you know, I was looking and I knew, I knew I would know it when I found it. And when the job opened up and when I landed in Galisteo and when I met Chris, it just, it, it was completely synchronistic and I knew that's where I belong. This is home. Yeah. This is my home. Where, where, what would you say to people that have not found home yet and might be quite lost right Follow now? Follow your heart and trust yourself. Always trust yourself. You know what you're doing more than you think you do. Thank you. Thank you.